Okay, we're gonna break these SGC 9.5 Kobe Bryant rookie cards, and we're gonna try to send them in a PSA and get some 10. So here we go. Wish us luck. I've never done this before. Crack it around. I heard you crack it around the edges. Pretty sure that just went in my coffee. If you don't drink Wilkins coffee, you're not all there. Man, I hate doing it. Did it. Two hours later. Hey, what's up? Thanks for joining us today, Tarver Cards. We're having a good time. Tyler here, Titus here, and Finn. Say what's up. Hi. Hi. Okay, so we have a really, really special mail day today. We got our first order in we've ever sent economy to PSA. I'm now, what does that mean? PSA, uh, they're the. Oh gosh, what does PSA stand for? I don't Personal know. Soccer accusation. Nailed it. Excellent. That's probably right. It's uh, PSA is the top. They're they're known as the top grading company, uh, and really, I'm only basing that on them. Like their stuff, if it's graded a 10, sells higher than like an SGC 10 or a BGS 9.5, which the BGS 9.5 is equivalent to a PSA 10. Um, they have a black label, uh, but you very you don't ever get those. Really excited about this order, and this one actually has a really cool history. Now, now we have, you're thinking, Tyler, I've been a long time listener, first time caller. I know you guys have gotten an order in from PSA. That's right, um, here is that order real quick. We sent in, that was actually Express. It costs 180 bucks per card. We got the Kobe Chrome as an eight. We got this one as, a, um, as an eight. And we got the Jaw. Auto is an eight, and then we got the start eight. Man, I think they maybe just hit like Command C, Command V. Finn, what do you think? Oh, hey guys, I was I was just uh, uh I I was one of my puck. I was doing this. That was very impressive. This is our first one economy, fifty dollars per card. A lot better than one eighty. So I really just expect eights. Um, except for one we sent in, our Jordan Scoring Kings. Honestly, I feel like that one's gonna maybe get a six wait, wait, at best. Wait, what was the replay of what? Wait, what? Well, I'll, I'll edit that in later. Oh. But you know what we forgot to do? We gotta do an intro, Titus. Say, kick it to the intro, my guy. Intro! No. <laughs> I'm gonna get over! That's good. Okay, so we are really excited today um, to open this up for you guys, with you guys. We have not seen these yet. They do post it. You're like, they post it online. You can see it early. They can, but we chose not to. I wanted this to be a genuine surprise. Wasted the good surprise on you. All right. Now, genuine, genuine if you will. Genuine. genuine. Pony, remember that song? No, what? you shouldn't. That was a test. Okay. It's a Oh my gosh, right in the ear. All right, so here's one of the really cool things about what we sent in. So I just told you we sent in the Jordan Scoring Kings, okay? And it wasn't, it had chip, it chipping around the edges. It's not gonna do well. It's just, since it's one of my higher end cards, I wanted to get it graded, to get it locked in at what it was. Cause you know, knowing me, I'm just gonna swap it from case to case and I'm gonna ruin it like I did that, that one card that was the best kid, card I ever pulled as a kid. So excited I got a one of 15,000 one that I manhandled it, putting it in and out of cases. In the comments, what's the best card you ever pulled from a pack? Let us know. Thank you. Uh, you can do it as a kid or as, a, as, a, as an adult. We have a really cool uh, situation with what we submitted because we actually submitted a bunch of Kobe's to SGC. We had two Kobe's that were 9.5s and we wanted to see how would that translate. That was a good flashback. Okay, now we're about to actually Come to fruition and see what we got. Okay, so here we go, Finn. I'm gonna need a little bit of space, but you can stand beside me. All right. I don't even know where to start opening this. Oh my goodness, I, I legit, it's so, Legitimately. it's packaged so, here we go. Start the incision here. I feel like I'm playing Operation. Have you ever played that game? Doctor, my belly aches. You got butterflies in your stomach. You ever played Operation, Tyler? It's time to make the surgery. Sometimes when I can't open something, when I, when I slice it on the side, yeah. I just, Stab it in right there. Yeah, well, I don't want to stab it because that might mess up my cards. And as we do this, we're actually going to show you the prices, what we what they sell for before we send in. It costs us fifty dollars per card to send it in, so we're going to find out. Oh no! Okay, so here we go. Oh, I see a green sticker. I know. I don't know what that means. It means one, two, three. Oh, that means they didn't grade one of them. One of them did get graded. Okay. Didn't get graded means. It means that they chose not to grade it for some reason. 
right, let's save the Kobe's to the end. Is that okay? Wait, is that why? okay? You, I didn't so there's a Kobe right there. This card right here, this is our Kobe Bryant class of 96. So let's look it up. 96. Remember, if you want to look up what your cards are worth, what we do is we go to eBay. 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 And then we go to the search. But here's the engine. trick. Search engine. You want to search what it's actually selling for. So Kobe Bryant class of 96. So we're going to look and see what this sold for. All those numbers are all over the place. We don't want that. We want to hit filter. And then we want to go to sold items. Okay, that's going to help us see what's legit. So it looks like it sold for about 183 right there. Raw was the last sale. A PSA 9 Rex at 450. Um, so this is this is good news bears. Why did okay. you get a PSA 10? Okay, so here we go. All right, we're about to flip it over. PSA 10, I don't even know what that's so far. Wait, what do you think? I don't think it got a PSA 10. I think it's a PSA 9.5. Okay, so here we go. Nine one, two, three. A nine! We got a nine! That's 450. That's great! Oh my gosh, so we just, look at that. We just turned this card, here, I'll give you this. You see that? That camera focuses a little better. Nope, just kidding, they're both terrible. Okay, this card just went from a $183 card. We paid 50 bucks, so you're gonna get like two, $233. And since it got a PSA 9, the last PSA 9 sold for $450. That's huge! That's huge, Titus. Well, it depends, will they buy it though? Well, I mean, somebody just bought it like two days ago. So what? that's awesome. That's a big win. Big win for that. I okay. Get the money you do get. not. This card, this is my Grant Hill card. What's wrong? My Grant Hill card. So this is a Grant Hill credentials card. It's this is a limited to one to uh four ninety nine. And it says Do not hold her. Do not hold her? Why? Card inside. Okay, well we can look this up. That's weird. Okay, yeah. we're gonna look that up at it's the end. A mystery. That's very interesting. We're gonna look that up. Okay. It's stuck in the chair. So that's uh, from the EX2000 set, and that's they did one. They did a 499 card Wait, run. Wait, so of you each. thought it was that Kobe card that? Yeah, I thought it was the Kobe card, but I guess I, there was a Kobe Bowman's best, and I guess that sent in. Um, I sent it in to. Uh, why, why did they? I sent it into PSA in my second order because I sent a 20 order of PSA. I have it went a in that. serious question. Why yeah. did SGC grade one of your Kobe cards authentic? I don't know. It wasn't, it wasn't altered. I bought it from a collector who would have never altered cards. What does altered cards mean? It means that like you either trim the edges or you like... Sometimes they'll do altered if you keep it in... If you see these cases, if you own any cards and they're in these screw down cases and they don't have like a slot for the card to go in, what it does is it flattens the card, and so they'll say that the card is flattened, and they'll call it altered, which that happened on what that card. It? So I need to, I'm need to. i gonna look up, after we get done here, I'm gonna look up why this one's not so they don't grade altered in a holder. Cards. That's really interesting. So They don't grade altered cards? No, not if it's altered, they won't grade it. And that was actually a really famous story, um, was the first, the first card ever that was ever... Taking chain. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good then. <laughs> The first card ever graded by PSA was an Honest Wagner card, and it actually was told to be chair. altered. Is that a thinking chair? No, I was Oh, is that from Blue's Clues? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Thinking chair! Thinking chair! So here's our Jordan Scoring Kings. Um, this card, let's look it up. This one I don't feel graded well. I know it didn't grade well. How do you know? Jordan Scoring Kings. 1997. How do you know, Tyler? I just, I don't, it, it's got chipping, or see that chipping at the bottom? That's the electric one. That's the one we tried to buy at the show, but it was like 700 bucks we didn't buy. It. So, um, an 8.5 sold for 800. So a PSA 8 sold for 411. So that's an accurate one. I don't know why that one went for 800. <laughs> PSA 6 went for 10. These, these are all over the place. But here's a raw one that sold for 385. So that kind of gives us uh, a baseline. I wouldn't. I'm not gonna sell this um, unless I maybe if I get another one that's better. But let's get a ten. I think it's a six. I think it's rough. Because look 10. at that corner. That's it, stuff. Seven. seven. That's better than I thought. Yeah. That's great. We got a scoring king seven. We got this one minted in history as a PSA seven. Awesome. So now we're coming to our two Kobe's. Remember, these both were graded as nine point fives with SGC, and so we're gonna see what it what and they're you worth now. Out of the case. I did. To, to build a little suspense. Build a little suspense. suspense. Um, here we go. Let's look at, let's see if we can find it on Card Wait, Ladder. It's an app I use to track the prices of cards. It's, it's, it's come up a little bit. It was down. It's come back up. It's about 145 a card raw. Okay. Now, let's look at what it was. See, um, I've got an SGC 9.5. Those are selling for, so it was, it was about a $300 card. Getting it graded with SGC for 22 bucks. It went up from a $145 card and almost, and it doubled to a 200 and almost 200 and 300 card is what it was worth. So we had it a 300 card and then we cracked it. We broke it. 
We broke it. How'd you break it? Um, I cracked it and then I turned it. They, they saw it in the video earlier. Here's where we're at. So it was 300. I essentially took the value back down to 145 and it's gonna either be a PSA 9. See, a PSA 9 still even sells for more than an SGC 9.5. So it sold for about 314. What if it's a PSA 6? PSA 9 would go 314. A PSA 10 sells for $1,400. What if we get one? That would be sick. But they're, I, honestly, I feel like they're super strict with with their their tens. Like, I feel like they just won't do tens. So, like, here we no, go. I think the um, the Dallas car show grading at the car show was strict because I that looked at strict. all those cards and I didn't see a single ten. I know. That was crazy. They didn't have any ten, But they're not going to want to do that. Most up-and-coming car companies, it's either they want to do all tens so they you feel like you're getting, like, good grades or they want to establish long-term by saying that they grade hard. And so, they don't want to, like, look easy. That's why, I, no, like, when we sent those nine Kobe rookies off to SGC, we got zero ten. It is so bad. I want to give you a zero. All right, so here we go. First Kobe rookie. Nine. Oh. So that one ranked in at a nine, but we still got it locked in as a PSA. That's okay. It's okay. Let's see if we got one ten out of this set, which I've never gotten a ten from PSA. I mean, sure, go for it. Please give us a ten. We got a ten! Yes! We got a ten! Yes! 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 That's awesome. Okay, so $1, we. $1,431.84. That. Guys, that's big. This is the first 10 we've ever gotten from PSA. Ever. Okay. I'm not gonna cry. I'm, okay. not gonna cry. I'm just no, really it's excited. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay. Is that from a show? Yeah. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball. Let's, let's recap together. So we got the 10, we got the 9. Wait, how is this? We one got the 9. This one's better. And we got the seven, which let's see what the last Jordan Scoring King seven went for. I like the Dallas car show because it showed you what you got wrong. Yeah, I don't know if you guys remember from last week's episode. I've whenever they graded it, they put the sleeve, the sleeve over it, and then they circled what was wrong with it so that we could see where it was an issue. They got an eight. It looks like what they did is they told us what was off on it. That, so it like looks that. like the centering's like off. It. Where was an issue on that one? They got a Luca three. What happened with that, Titus? Oh, oh that broke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's do this. Scoring King. Here it is right here. So it's got the raw last one sold for five. Oh wait, the grass. 31. Like this. Look at this. This is so off. There's only been like two or three sales of the past year. So this is like a super rare insert because look at this. Look at that scale of the sales. Like it the, sold, it went down. the raw is sold as high as 1400 in February down. of 2021. And then it went down. Went under 750 and then the 100, that, that's actually mine. <laughs> and then it went up to, it went back up to 541. So I'm kind of ruining the comps there. So 541, so it's only been, what, in the past two years, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sales. That's not a lot, man. That's not a lot. So let's see if we can see. Oh, no. Any grades, so I don't see any sevens on here. PSA eight sells for sixteen hundred. <laughs> Look at that little graph. PSA, it's just like yeah, it's crazy. PSA nine was four thousand eight hundred. It, oh, it doesn't even have Sheesh, a graph. I know. We need to look it up on eBay. It's just a dot. Remember, it's green because they're sold items. Sold There's a PSA seven sold for seven hundred and sixty-four dollars back a month ago. Not That's dope. Good. But then the PSA eight. Look at that. The PSA eight. That person got a steal. They got the PSA eight for four hundred dollars. That's awesome. PSA 6 sold for $200 more than that. Man, that one must have just gone off like the bids off rolled out quick. Off the chain. Off the chain. Off the chain. Well, okay, let's look. Well, yeah, we're not done. Let's look up this one. We had one card Eggman. that didn't go well. So let's look it up, okay? It's off the hold. So I'm going to look it up. It means that the card is too small to grade from the manufacturer. You can try again next submission at no charge. It means the card measures a little small. A lot of the 93 Jeter SPs have been given this kiss of death. Most of the time, after a few subs, you can get it through, but not always. PSIA is hyper vigilant about this. What does this mean? Send it to BG. It means that we're going to send it into SGC, is what it means. All right, guys. What do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts on this? What's your favorite of the ones that we we did? Um, do you have any of these? Are you trying to collect any of these? Uh, let us know. We'd love to hear it. And, and give us more information about that. I mean, that thing. Well, we have the information. I know. Okay. All right. What do you guys think? And uh, let us know uh, in the comments. I would love to know what was the last 
last card you submitted to PSA that you were like, you got hype about, that you got really excited about. Like that was, I'm really excited. That's the first PSA 10 I've ever gotten in my life. And I submitted, here's my thing. I submitted 49 cards to SGC last time and I got 110. And it, it was, was a fresh pack Lamello. Yeah, it was a brand new Lamello, which I had eight other brand new Lamello prisms that didn't get a 10. So I don't know. What do you think about well, actually, this? I remember one of them got a seven or something, six. Yeah, that was not, it was like a seven and a half and I gave it away at the card show. It's free real estate. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, if you want to do the like, subscribe thing, that's pretty cool. Subs but smash no pressure. That smash that subscribe button. Put that subscribe button. Thing. Hold that subscribe button down and just smack it right there on the red subscribe button. Yay! Yay! Oh, Dan, you got something to say? Smash it! Ow! Oh, that's not good. Thank you guys so much for real.